Hello, I'm your host, Mr. Fixit. Coming up in this video, I'm going to show you how to test these high voltage diodes in microwave ovens. Right here on ES Repair. Hello and welcome to an episode by ES Repair. I am your host, Mr. Fixit. In this video, I'm going to show you the simplest way that you can test these high voltage diodes. This one, which I have zoomed in, can clearly show you what the part number is. The symbol shows you which side is the anode and which side is the cathode. This side, which has the uh, ring on it, is what connects to the ground or to the case the metal casing of the microwave oven and this side here connects to the capacitor now if you're going to remove these from the microwave to test them be sure to insert or reinsert the new one or the old one the same exact place that you removed it from because these positions that these diodes are wired in are critical for the voltage supply to work to the magnetron. Now, I'm going to show you a very simple way to test these, and to do it, all you need is a 9 volt battery and a test a voltmeter. Here, I have my table set up so I can demonstrate how simple it is to test this high voltage diode. This will be the diode under test. This meter here is going to show you the voltage that's coming out of the diode. This one I'm going to show you as to sh uh, the vo battery's voltage and show you how to determine the voltage drop going across the diode. Now, to do this, let me first show you why you cannot use an ohm meter or a diode checker. Now, let me turn this around and connect it. Now, if I put it over to ohms, I have the positive lead on the anode side, and I have the negative lead on the cathode side. Notice what the meter is saying. It's over limit. This means that the resistance is so high, which in most cases is either 1 mega ohms or 10 mega ohms, this meter still cannot read the resistance because it's so high. It's measuring infinity. Now, if you were to switch it down to a diode checker, you're still going to have the same problem. The resistance is just too high for the meter to apply enough voltage and current to test this diode. So, this is where the 9 volt battery comes in. Now, let me unhook this and switch it back to my DC voltmeter. What I'm going to do is I'm using a 9 volt battery. I've got the positive lead connected to a wire, a red wire. I'm going to connect this to the anode side. Okay. 
of the diode. I'm going to take the positive lead of my tester and connect it to the negative or the cathode lead of the diode. And then the negative lead of my tester will connect to the negative side of the battery, like so. Now, notice with the diode all connected, the voltmeter is now showing 6.69. Well, the battery is a 9 volt battery. Now, in some cases, depending on the battery and the age, it will produce anywhere between 8.5 to 9.5 or 9.6, depending on the battery. Now, you'll notice that there are 6.67 volts now. The resistance is so high, you're losing almost 3 volts. Here, I'll show you. Let me take my other meter on the left, on the right, and let's see the voltage. Now, if we're to test the battery, You'll notice that it says 9.63. Now it has a minus sign, that's because my polarity, I got my test leads reversed, but that's okay. Because if I do it like this, it's still going to show 9.63. Now this shows that the battery is fully charged. In fact, this is a brand new battery. And I'm showing just, just over 9.6 volts. Well, if you look at the meter on the left, it's showing 6.62. Now, this is because this diode has almost a 3 volt drop. To measure the drop, all you do is connect your tester's test lead, which I'm using the second one here to demonstrate. If I test it from here to here, it's showing a voltage drop between around 2.82 volts. This is what's known as a voltage drop. And this is what happens when any kind of voltage or current passes through these diodes. And this is the most simplest way that you can test a diode. Now, if the diode is showing the exact same voltage as you are on the input side or the anode side to ground then the diode is shorted and needs to be replaced. Now to check the reverse polarity you just reverse the connections. And again, you'll notice that the voltage has dropped down to millivolts. This means that the resistance is very, very high. And it's going to fluctuate because it's passing through the meter. This is one good way to know if your diode is good. Now, what you can do is to find these you can find the numbers on here and it will tell you what type of diode these are and you can order these online ranging anywhere between five dollars to twenty bucks but that is how you test a microwave's high voltage diode well this concludes this video I've shown you how to test using a simple method for testing these high voltage diodes commonly found in microwave ovens. I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please uh, supply them to the video or you can write to us with other questions you may have. I'm your host, Mr. Fixit. This has been a presentation by ES Repair. Thank you for watching.